Hey, Ukraine Media family, Sergey Proknevsky here, and welcome to tip number 70. In today's daily tip, we're going to talk about a data file format called TSV. All right, so by this point, we've talked a lot about the JSON file. We've talked about how to create it, how to access it using a method called data value. We've talked about how to plug it in the information from the JSON file into our projects and things of that nature. So you're very familiar with the data files inside After Effects. And what I'm about to introduce to you is nothing new. It's the exact same concept. However, this time we just have a different file format. So instead of JSON, we're going to talk about this TSV. And what that stands for is this, tab separated values. It does exactly what it sounds. It separates values based on tab and not a comma. So let me show you how to create it. And by the way, this format is widely used with things like spreadsheets. You know, if you have information in your spreadsheet, it's you can easily export it as TSV file using you know file export or whatever. However, you can also create a TSV file using just a simple text editor. And let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to this uh, window right here. I'm going to right click and go to new, and then let's do new text document. So we have a new text document, and I'm going to label it sample. Okay, and then I'm going to create a TSV file out of this. I'm going to say period. TSV. So that's how we create a TSV file. So here it is, not, nothing complicated, very simple. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click and go into it. So in here, obviously, it's blank. So let's add some data. And by the way, the first line of text in TSV file is ignored. It's only going to be used for labels. And I'll show you what that looks like inside After Effects. So the first line, just use it as labels. So I'm going to say names and then tab, colors, tab, numbers. Okay, so the first line, nothing but labels. Okay, underneath here, let's add some information. So names, let's do Josh, colors, let's do red, and number, let's do 11, let's do Evan, blue, let's do three, and Carrie, pink, and let's do one. Okay. That's simple. As you can see, we have a TSV file. And as you can see, we have things separated using tab. So everything's separated. And the way After Effects is going to see it, whatever's under names is going to put it in into a label called names. And whatever's under colors is going to put it into a label called colors. And whatever's under numbers, it's going to put it in the label called numbers. So let me show you what that looks like in After Effects. So I'm going to save this, Control S, because we have already created this file. And now I'm going to go into After Effects. I'm going to double click, and then let's bring that into our project panel. So here it is. I'm going to drag it into my composition, and let's collapse it down. So we have data. As you can see, we have our labels in here. And just like I said before, we have names. And if I collapse this down, all of our names are under here. So the first one is Josh. Second one is... Evan, and then the last one is Carrie. So you get the idea here. The same concept here as well. We have colors. As you can see, the last one was pink. And the same thing for numbers, but I don't have to drag it in. You can see it visually in our timeline here. All right, so now that we know how to create a TSV file, let me show you how we can access all of that information inside After Effects. So the first method is probably the most common one. We use it all the time. And all you have to do, obviously, just bring that text file into your timeline, and then you can collapse everything down and go to the property that you want. And then you can just pick whip to your property, and there you have it. So pretty simple. However, when you get rid of this text file from your timeline, you can see that the whole expression breaks. So let me show you another way. Another way is using a method called data value. And we've talked about that previously, but I just want to show you how we can use the same method using TSV file. So we're going to pick whip to this file right here in our project panel. So now we have a path to it in here, okay? And then we're going to keep going. We're going to say, let's use a method called data value. So we're going to point to the path of the property that we want. So we're going to say data value, okay? And then in parentheses, we're going to list the path that we want. And by the way, you do have to, in parentheses, you have to also type square brackets. So we're going to list the path inside of the square brackets. So let's go back to this text, to this text document. And in here, we're going to decide which property that we want or which name. I want to point to this pink right here. 
how do I do that? Let's, I guess, let's write a path to it. So the way it works with TSV files, it starts counting, like everything has to do with index values. Like that uh, word pink in our document here has index values to it. And we start at the, I guess, on the left side here, we say 0, 1, 2. So the column 1 would be 0, and then 1, 2. So the first stage is going to be column 1, right, 0, 1. So first stage is 1. Now we move on to the second stage. So now that we are in this column, where does this pink word lives in this column? And remember, the first line is ignored. So it, it, it's not even 0, it's just ignored. So we start here, right, so it'd be 0, 1, 2, right? So this pink word is actually index 2. So the so that's second stage. Stage 2 is 2, and stage 1 is 1. So 1, right, column 1, 0, 1, and then it's 0, 1, 2. I hope that makes sense. So let's plug that into our data value method here. So the first stage, I call it stage, but you can call it whatever you want, is 1, and then we're going to say comma, and the second stage is 2. So if I click away now, I should be able to see the word pink. Let's see if that happens. So I'm going to click away. As you can see, there it is. And now we can go back here, right? We can change this to anything we want. We can say blue. And if I do control S and go back, you can see it automatically updates it. All right. Well, this is the end of this daily tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you hit that like button, share this video. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking subscribe. And then also don't forget to hit that bell button. As always, we do have an online community at ukramedia.com slash community. It's 100% free and it's full of a lot of super talented creatives who are very passionate about sharing their knowledge with others. So if you want to be a part of our community, go to ukramedia.com slash community. The link is at the bottom of this video. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.